I think there are a lot of interesting things that fiber is now bringing to communities. And I think one of the things that we are going to be, just our local healthcare community is going to be mandated to do, is to move to totally electronic medical records and the ability to transfer information, not just within our hospital setting, but to consulting hospitals along the way. That it's going to be something there's not going to be a choice and without a, a good fiber system that we won't be able to accomplish that. It obviously improves health care tremendously. It improves responsiveness to a patient's needs immeasurably. We're also doing things in rural communities where it, um, telemedicine is actually being practiced. And without that reliability of fiber, we couldn't do that because we obviously can't have specialists here 24-7. And so the ability to remotely pull that specialist in, let that specialist be able to not only see what the emergency room physician is seeing but be able to react to that and help dictate care is a, a tremendous thing in terms of care. I think also our schools have not really tapped into the potential of how they could be using fiber. We in rural areas have small schools, small schools that can't necessarily offer a myriad of courses for a class of three. But if you put that class of three with another county school's class of five, then, then maybe we've got something here and something that we can be able to teach that class that we would have otherwise had to forego. So I think in education, in terms of health care, most certainly in law enforcement, we're finding out more about what we can do to help track uh, dementia patients, autistic children, and to rapidly find them if they should find themselves out of our local environment.